Okay, guys, this is uh, Stay Safe, and I'm, I'm just here with uh, Caesar Sabala, and uh, we're just about to do some questions on um, on expired domains and uh, how Caesar's been been using expired domains and how he's been uh, he's been growing his SEO business with them. So, uh, welcome to the call, Caesar. How you doing? Pretty good, Stace. And how about yourself? Yeah, I'm all good, man. I'm all good. We were just just speaking about the weather there. You know, I was just you know, I just can't get used to this weather in the UK. I mean, I'm I think I'm destined for uh, for California. You know, <laughs> come on over. It's great here. Well, most of the time, <laughs> most of the time of the weather is just fantastic. Yeah, man. Sounds great. Sounds great. So, how how long have you been online for? Um, and and into SEO. Well, I've just been online not very long as far as the uh, SEO part, uh, I'd say for maybe a year and a half. Uh, I saw the, the, the power of, of, of local SEO and what it could do for local businesses. Uh, prior to that, uh, I'm a graphic designer and web designer by trade. And okay. prior to that, I used to work at a magazine company designing ads. Okay. And prior to that, I was a computer technician. So one thing led to another. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you've had some uh, some good experience in the uh, online space in in a roundabout way as well. Oh yeah, yeah. There's a tremendous amount of information. There's a great group of uh, group of guys out in the internet that are willing to help, such as you, Stace. And thank you for that. Yeah. And uh, you know, it's just great to be here. Yeah. So I mean, you know, SEO. Um, you know, the, the, these expired domains, um, it, it, essentially what a lot of people are doing is selling these expired domains to SEO guys uh, like yourself who are, are building up um, private blog networks with them. So, I mean, you know, I've seen what you're doing in, in some of the Facebook groups and, and selling in there. Um, so what, what made you turn to, 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 to selling? I mean, I guess you use them yourself as well for your own uh, business, but what, what made you turn to selling them? You know, it, it sounded very appealing to me to, to uh, anything to increase either uh, my rankings for my own uh, domains and also, um, you know, the, the tremendous amount of instant, uh, uh, well, exactly, the tremendous amount of info, uh, impact that you can get from these expired domains. And also, the <laughs> they can be quite a uh, uh, good influx of side cash monthly for selling them yeah. for these good yeah. domains. So yeah, overall, I just found it very appealing, and uh, I said, "Hey, I'm going to study all I can and uh, see what information I can get, I can gather." And uh, and uh, this is where I'm at at today. Yeah. Oh, great, man. So. Um... So I mean, in in the expired domain selling industry, from what what you see, I mean, personally myself, I see a lot of people um, like cashing in on this, really, you know, and um, and scraping themselves uh, and picking up some good domains and selling them on. So I mean, would would you see that this kind of um, industry on Facebook as such is is in its infancy? Is a is a room for growth? Do you think on this? No, absolutely, because I was kind of, I, I actually got this, um, wh one day about a year ago, I, I was searching around the internet and I landed on um, uh, this gentleman named Hayden Miyamoto with uh, No Hat Media and he was talking about expired domains. So in the early infancies, the expired domains was focused on PRs and, and DAs and Moz metrics. And then it, uh, you know, uh, not soon after that, uh, there was a Google algorithm shift and uh, everything kind of went down. So I, I figured, uh, I'm going to give it a breather, give it a rest. And uh, so months later, I went on Facebook and people were talking about expired domains again <laughs> on these yeah. communities. So uh, I said to myself, why not start uh, my own Facebook uh, group on expired domains? Yeah. Okay. And which led me to create uh, uh, the the domain PBN marketplace. It's a Facebook uh, group community where people buy and sell uh, expired domains. Yeah. And how, how long has that been going for? This has been going on for, uh, I'd say, almost three months. Okay. And there's about six, a little bit over 600 members. And, so and that's just grew <laughs> organically, has it? Yeah. Yeah, organically. Yeah. 
Yeah. Or it just goes to show you that uh, there's certainly an interest there for expired domains and and uh, people are buying them, selling them. Yeah. Every day. Great. I mean, so for somebody who was new to this and, um, you know, wanted to get into this um, and, you know, make, make themselves uh, some, some either extra cash on the side or, you know, if they've got that about them that they want to kind of make this into a business, would you say it, it was something that, you know, could be a sustainable business? Oh, yes, of course. Yeah. Just like any other business you research, you implement, uh, you make some uh, connections, with others in the industry, there's certainly room for growth. Yeah, there's uh, there's plenty for all. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it, I find it fascinating that, that all of these expired domains are just sitting out there on the internet, and they are there for anyone to take, really. You know, and anyone to find. Um, so, I mean, I don't know what the figures are, but there's, you know, I guess there are hundreds of thousands of ex, uh, domains expiring every single day. So the actual stock. You know, it's just massive, and it's and it's just you know being replenished every day as well. You know, exactly. I, if you know, people fail to realize too that, uh, say, you get a uh, you come across a site that has potential expired domains, and uh, you scrape, and uh, you don't uh, get anything for that for that day. But hold on, hold on there. Uh, if you hold on to that seed list, who's who's to say that another day or another month when you come back to it? that there will be expired domains available. It, uh, it, it's, it, expired domains just uh, are available each and every day. Yeah, yeah. That's the beauty of it, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, you know, roughly speaking, um, as you say, you know, some, some days you, you might not find any, and then the next day you might find a load of them. So, kind of roughly speaking, how much um, can you make or do you make in, a, in a, say, a month? Yeah, it, um, well, I've been kind of busy lately with my own business, so I kind of do this on the side, but uh, yeah. if you really got to have the right tools, and uh, if you do everything properly, there's no reason why you can't come up with a couple of expired domains, good expired domains daily. Um, they might not be the gems that you're looking for, because those are kind of uh, rare. What I mean by gems is high high DA, high PA, and high uh, uh, trust flow. Yeah, and but uh, you will come across those every now and then, for uh, for sure. Yeah. So I mean, you you know, you, as you say, you're doing it on the side, so it's you, you know, it's not something you you're hitting full time, but um, I mean, if someone was to put their time and effort in and doing this full time, you know, would you say they could make four hundred, five hundred a month just selling the actual domains themselves? The answer is yes, because there are. Um, certainly a couple of people that I know personally, well, uh, on the, when I say personally on the, on the net <laughs> yeah, and we're in communication and they made thousands of dollars a month and they have full-time jobs. So, okay. So they're doing it on the side as well. Like, yeah. Yeah. They're doing it on the side as well. So they're certainly doing something right. So it's, um, there's certainly good techniques to learn. Uh, I encourage everyone to go out there and do some, uh, studying look for some techniques and fine tune them and practice and just get better at it. And you'll get, to, you can hit your goals. Um, for yeah. Sure. So, yeah, I mean, that sounds lucrative. I mean, you know, just, just to be doing it as a side business and be earning that kind of money, um, you know, for somebody who's going to be going into it full time. And yeah, it sounds like there's a, there's, there's a nice bit of money to be made in there. Exactly. Exactly. Even before the algorithm change about a year ago, I was making, I was, uh, just a little bit over a thousand dollars a month, uh, and it was starting to amp up. So um, it was a little bit of different times for sure, but uh, it opened my eyes of the good side income possibilities. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay, so what what kind of an, um, advice could you give to newbies that were starting out in this industry? You know, some some of the um, some of the best kind of advice you could give to some newbies that were getting into this. Sure. Um, be persistent for sure. Uh, don't give up. Uh, you certainly want to reach out to others in the domain community, make some friends, uh, learn from them and above all organize your time. 
because time is so important, you don't want to waste your time in properly scraping for domains. You want to do it correctly. Um, look at the return on investment. Um, I would also start small, do some scrapes, practice and just get better at it. Yeah. Yeah, that's good advice, man. Yeah. So what's um how how long have you been doing this yourself actually scraping for domains? Well, like I said before, I've been doing it since uh, last year, but uh, I quit for a while because uh, Google's really good at scare tactics for uh, after that Google algorithm shift on yeah. uh, penalizing, uh, I'm sure you heard on PBNs last year. Yeah. So I gave up for a while and uh, I, I, early this year in January, I said, hey, I'm going to look back into it again because uh, uh, I, I noticed that there's two types of camps out there, the pros and the cons. The pros are saying, continue. Don't, don't be scared. It's a scare tactic from Google. Yeah. And then the other camp say, no, don't waste your time. It's not going to work. Yeah. And uh, I'm not in that camp. I'm the camp is if you do it properly, there's no reason why an expired domains will, will help your, 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 your money sites for sure. Yeah. So in, in your, um, so just for people who don't understand the money sites, uh, what people, um, point the domains that once they've set them up, once they've brought them and they point, they set them up and they point them at their money sites to try and rank them, don't they? Yes. Yes. So exactly. with, with your experience, um, since doing it from last year, what's the, the biggest mistake, uh, that you see other people making or in fact yourself as well with, with your experience? Yeah. In the early beginnings, I was, uh, looking for PR page rank. Okay. Uh, domains those, those are very hard to you're not going to find them uh, the, they just don't really exist out there and um well, we're using it as a metric you know uh, because metrics can be manipulated they're flawed you really got to look at the back the over the overall backlink profile where are they coming from are they coming from authority sites uh or are they coming or are they hyped up with uh fake pr so certainly metrics can be manipulated and you know, you really need to dig down and further investigation is required on, on looking at the quality of the expired domains. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I know myself, yeah, from, from experience, it's, it's just kind of a guide, isn't it, to go for with the metrics. But as you say, you know, the backlinks are the key to it. That's what, that's what makes up the value of the, of the domain itself. Exactly, exactly. I've come across, I had some experiences where I come across domains that, they look good on paper, on paper, you know, the metrics, oh, it has a high DA, it has a PA, and uh, they're full of spam. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I would rather get uh, a lower metric, and you look at the backlink profile when you do some further investigation, and you see some really nice uh, authority sites pointing at, pointing at it. So yeah. that's a lesson to be learned for sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so... Again, for, for newbies, uh, what, what kind of tips could you give for actually um, selling to buyers? I mean, you know, getting the domains together, you've got your list, uh, and then, you know, actually selling the domains to buyers, what kind of uh, tips could you give to guys that are, that are looking to get into this? Well, certainly your reputation is number one. You don't want to be known as the, the spammy expired domain seller. <laughs> yeah. So you really want to practice your spam checking techniques. Um, just go out there and practice, look at some videos, tutorials that are, they're available, um, everywhere. Um, and you also want to come out with a spreadsheet at, uh, that explains the important metrics of the expired domains that you, that you found. So you could, uh, input that information and make it easy for the buyers to see. Yeah. And certainly, uh, um, um, participate in Facebook committees, you know, such as mine yeah. and, uh, reach out and uh, let, uh, let people know. Cause I've seen a lot of, uh, people that have just, uh, started and that's what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's certainly as of, um, there's a lot of people that, uh, they're jumping on the bandwagon and, and, you know, getting wise to it. Mm, correct. Correct. And yeah. there's, as I said before, and, and as I'm sure you, you will, know that uh, there's domains there's plenty of domains for everyone <laughs> yeah <laughs> definitely yeah so uh, i mean talking about softwares um 
there's, uh, I mean, I've noticed there's a lot of crawlers that are coming out now. People are developing these crawlers. There's a lot of them coming out. Some, uh, you know, are not so good. You know, some are like thrown together and stuff like. But what what kind of software is, uh, is I mean, including crawlers and as well as what kind of softwares um, have have worked for you, or what can you recommend? Yeah, in the very beginning, and I I, I, I would. Um, recommend that if you're just starting and uh, you want to get the techniques down and the experience of how to crawl expired domains, I would uh, I would use a tool called Xenu, X-E-N-U. You yeah. can Google that. It's free. Yeah. Um, learn it uh, and practice and uh, it's free, you know. Uh, but there is a cost of time, you know, like in anything, there are tools out there that are paid that will do it much quicker. Uh, Xeno just uh, gives you the expired domains, you know, uh, for the most part, but you still got to check them for if the domains are really, truly uh, available for purchase, right? Yeah. And so there are paid domain tools out there, and I use a couple. Uh, would you like me to uh, name a couple? Or? Yeah, yeah, go for it, yeah. Okay, I, I originally used this tool called an uh, uh, expired domain miner. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in the very early beginnings last year, I reached out to the developer, and this developer was uh, let me beta, te beta test the tool, and I was fortunate to, to beta test it, and uh, it works. Uh, however, <laughs> it's pretty, it's quite expensive. It's uh, just under two hundred dollars a month. So I uh, moved on <laughs> yeah. from using that tool. Um, uh, I, in the process of searching around, I found a couple of other, um, just today, I, uh, I think Tom Kappen released a tool for, uh, it's called domain metrics tool.com, I think. Okay. And, and it was originally $79 a month. And I also beta test that tool as well. Yeah. And he recently brought it down to $49 a month. Okay. That's so, affordable. Yeah. Yeah. So big difference, big difference. Exactly. And so you, you've you've beta tested that and and you uh, you've been using that yourself. Yes, actually, I'm using it uh, almost every day. Yes, yeah. it's, it's it's quite it's quite good. Yeah. It, uh, it, it he has other tools on there that will allow you to um, a separate tool. I think it's a one time fee. I think of I think for I think it's around thirty dollars, and it allows you to after you get the expired domains, it allows you to check the domain availability and then it'll spit back another report on the trust flow yeah citation flow and uh let me see what else uh a, a couple other metrics that are useful yeah now that's a separate tool from the crawler yeah exactly okay exactly yeah so a lot like um domain miner isn't it that they, they've got the crawler and then they've got the separate metrics checker as well haven't they like exactly yeah, exactly. And I, and I did reach out to the the creators, the programmers of the software, and I suggested that it would be in the best interest of all, <laughs> including the buyers, that if you would lower the price. Yeah. And uh, certainly some listened, and unfortunately some didn't. So. Yeah. Yeah. This is it. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, um, so in in terms of. Um, Time scale. I mean, I I found myself um, actually took uh, a few people through this this process. Somebody, you know, a couple of people who didn't know anything about this process, and I took them through. And on on their second day, they were able to post in the Facebook groups with with expired domains and sell. You know, so I find it that you know if someone's willing to learn and, you know, to take, take on board the information and practice it and, and put it into, um, into practice that they can, they can turn around a profit really, really quickly. So what, what's the kind of quickest time scale and, and what are your thoughts on, on turning around domains from, from finding them to selling them? I would say daily. If you, again, uh, just, I, I, I'm, a, I agree with your statement. If you put the time and the effort in, you can, there's no reason why you can find domains daily and put them up for sale uh, on the internet. Yeah. For sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and um, 
as you know, just just with the uh, the Facebook groups, is is there any other places that you you tend to look to sell on as well, apart from the Facebook groups? Oh yeah, for sure. There's uh, there's uh, um, I would I would in my own experience, I I sell expired domains on on forums, internet marketing forums. Yeah. And some of these internet marketing forums, um, such as Black Hat World, yeah. will have sections where buyers and sellers section where you can post your, 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 uh, your expired domains for sale. Uh, there's tons of them out there. So there's no reason for, for not, uh, finding a place where you can sell your domains besides Facebook. Great. Great. So fun. So yeah, it's, um, yeah, I, I was just, I was just amazed at how quickly you can, you know, you start, as you say, if you pick up Xenu for free, you know, you can get started really, really quickly and, and turn around domains and, and get, you know, get selling them, you know, within a couple of days, if not the next day. So I was really, um, really surprised on that. And, you know, looking at it as a business as well, that, that kind of business model, you know, there's so many pluses to it with, you know, there being th hundreds of thousands expiring every day. So you've got a constant supply of stock, you know, to having free tools to use, to, to turn them around in a couple of days and, I mean, on the Facebook groups, you know, people are just, yes, I'll buy this and they PayPal you the money. So it's like, you know, kind of instant cash, you know, with the, with the method itself. So yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about it. Exactly. And also for your own uh, money sites as well is a great benefit. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So is there any, any kind of um, shortcuts that, that you use or you know about like uh, bulk checkers that, you know, can make people's lives easier? Sure. Um, it, there are some, uh, in, in my searching around the internet, uh, uh, certainly some, most, some of you would uh, recognize uh, bulk checkers such as um, GoDaddy or, or Namecheap uh, uh, domain availability, availability bulk checking. And I think they, they have a limit of 500 per, per check. Yeah, I'm not sure for Namecheap, uh, but I know GoDaddy I does. Think it's Fifty and for Namecheap, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's a lower amount. And um, there's another one that's free. It's called Dyna Dyna Dot. Okay. And that allows you to check a, a, up to about a thousand uh, domains at one time. And that's checking for the availability of them. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And. Um, I got a nice surprise. Actually, I found uh, uh, a paid tool because I was looking around for a paid tool that would uh, not only check .com, .net, and others, but .org because .org seems to be the in some of these paid tools uh, that I purchased in the past. They they just wouldn't check .org. Okay. And there's this tool called um, uh, Name Checks. Yeah. Dot, dot com. Yeah. It's a uh, it, it's a great tool. Um, I mean, if you want to save money and you don't want to spend the, the monthly uh, uh, charges for those uh, all-in-one all in tools, you know, the monthly charges, yeah, I would certainly look at name checks. Okay. It's uh, N-A-M-E-C-H-E-X.com. Yeah. And uh, it's a one-time price of only $50. Okay. That's handy, yeah. That's always good one-time one -time prices. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I look for. <laughs> <laughs> this is it, yeah. So I mean, uh, I mean, back to to like selling. I mean, there's you know, there's there's quite a few different ways of uh, selling. Um, I mean, can you share any any selling strategies that you use yourself that that newbies could possibly utilize? Um, I know, like some people sell, you know, maybe a list of domains, or they're selling them one by one, or is there anything that you can um, you can share on that? Sure, uh, certainly. Uh, you want to look into internet marketing communities again. Uh, yeah. Think of blogs, forums, uh, Facebook. Um, you might not want to start off hard selling, you know, as the overall strategy, but uh, think of how you can help and contribute to the community. And then later on, maybe after a while, after they get to know you, then you can say perhaps. Hey, I also sell expired domains, and yeah. uh, I'm sure this can help you um, yeah. pump up your sites. Yeah. Uh, 
Another thing is uh, that I found very useful is to set up a Google Alert. Uh, it's free. Um, you could put the keyword uh, something like expired domains in the Google Alert. Okay. And uh, you should be getting, uh, like I do, I get uh, weekly emails of where people are saying, hey, where can I find expired domains? So in the Google Alert, it'll go to my email. And that's where I jump in and say, hey, I have them. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That is, that's a really good idea. That is, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, yeah, I mean, Google Alerts is great for loads of stuff. I never really thought about it for that, though. Yeah, that's a really good strategy, that is. Yeah, I like that. So, um, yeah, I mean, um, you say you've got a, a Facebook group yourself and you, you've got 600 people in there and you, you're buying and selling in that group. So, so just give, give us a plug on that and, and name, name that group again for us. Sure, it's called the Domain PBN Marketplace. Okay, so, so it, it would be the face. It would be Facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash the Domain P PBN Marketplace. Okay, okay. I'll put a link to that underneath this anyway, so you can uh, just click straight through to that. And uh, that's there's 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 a lot of people in there buying and selling and um, yeah, making some money from this. Oh yeah, certainly. Every day, <laughs> there, someone's putting something in the cell, or people are saying, uh, "I'm looking for uh, a plumbing expired domain," and then you'll get a lot of answers. I have them. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, that, that's really good as well. That's another plus about this whole business as well. That there's people actively posting and saying, "You know, I'm looking for this t particular domain," and yeah, so you've not only you only got the choice to sell to people, but you've also got the choice to fulfill orders as well, haven't you? Exactly. It's uh, you're, you're you're feeding the, the their their needs and uh, trying to be helpful and uh, make connections. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's another thing I was going to say as well. Is you know, over over time, you start to get a name for yourself that you're selling domains, and you know, just like any business, you can build up um, clients as well, can't you? Regular clients. Oh, definitely. I've I had several that in the past have reached out to me and say, I see that you excel expired domains. And so, yeah, I could see where it, it, it definitely can lead to other things with uh, domain uh, people that are buying in bulk. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant stuff. Well, yeah, man. I, I mean, I thank you so much for coming on and, uh, and sharing your knowledge, uh, Caesar, with this. I mean, it's some of the stuff you've opened my eyes, you know, to some of the strategies and uh, information that you've been telling us. So I really appreciate you coming on and, and sharing that. You're very welcome, Stace. It's good talking to you, man. <laughs> yeah, yourself too, man. Okay, then I'll, I'll, I'm going to wrap this up here. And um, guys, you know, the, the information's there and, uh, you know, it, it's there for the taking. I mean, it's, it, it's a business. It's, you know, if you want to run with this, you can take it and, uh, and, and make some good money with it. So Thanks again, Caesar, and I'll speak to you soon. Talk to you later, Stace. Thank you. Thanks, man.